Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to get some free money this week. Now you guys know finding money is my love language. It's my gift to you. And I found some ways that you can get money, whether that's from a state stimulus check, guaranteed income, settlements, and more. Now y'all already know I have the Invisalign in, so it's giving me a little bit of list, but it's working like, look at your girl T, they're coming in good, right? But if you wanna know where the money resides you already know what to do stay tuned your girls got you covered now if this is your first time tuning into my channel hi hello hey friend my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we discuss shopping saving and everything in between i would love to have you a part of my internet family super easy click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and occasionally on the weekends. Now guys, don't forget, I do have an ebook for sale. If you ever wanted to build your brand on YouTube, I mean, YouTube pays very well, okay? You can definitely go ahead and pick up that ebook for $14.97, or if you wanna try out Amazon Prime for $5.99, definitely click that link in the description box, or I'll have a pinned comment, and you in there like swimwear. All right, so a lot of us have been waiting to see if Congress is gonna pass a fourth stimulus check. And with all this stuff that's going on with the Delta variant, we may get another stimulus check. However, it has not been stated that we are getting one and nothing is in there. So the first few programs that I'm gonna give you is for everyone, because everyone is like, what about my state, girl? What about my state? Well, these are, we're gonna start off with settlements. The first settlement is the Windex settlement where you qualify for up to a $10 check if you have purchased any Windex product between January 1st, 2019 through July 9th of 2021. Now, $10 is not a lot of money, right? But it is something and you will get $1 per product. You do need to submit your form and have it filled out by October 29th with your claim. Now, according to this allegedly, okay, Windex glass cleaners were set, stated to be non-toxic, but when the products actually contain chemicals that cause health problems to those that are exposed to them. So anyone can apply as long as you have purchased a product. The next one we're going to is the Benefiber settlement where you can qualify up to $60. Okay, the money is getting higher. Okay, there's level to this. So if you purchase a Benefiber product between June 19th, 2014 and June 8th of 2021, that's a lot of years. Okay, then you qualify for a $60 checks without proof of purchase. Now you must submit this form by October 6th on there. It's October 6th, y'all. Y'all know my, my list. All right, but Benefiber was deceptive in the marketing and labeling of the original products as well as the healthy shape products. And they said that they were 100% natural, okay? But they weren't, you know, it was just a little marketing thing and people were still craving and putting on weight. All right, so it happens. It was supposed to help your weight management, but it didn't. So if you purchased a Benefiber original product, then you qualify for that. Also, while we're speaking of food and just settlements and stuff, we're talking about Kellogg cereal. They have a settlement where you qualify for up to a $16 check if you purchased a Kellogg cereal um, product between August 29th of 2012 to May 1st of 2020. Now I know y'all have purchased some type of Kellogg cereal i mean especially with your children going back to school or out of school you probably have purchased it. you must submit your form by september 7th to go ahead and get this now allegedly kellogg's labeled their products and said that the products seem to be healthy when the products will contain like high added sugar in them and other content as well. So now that's all that we have for the settlement. So let's just go ahead and move on to some of the state money. First, we are headed to New York. What's up, New York? Where we have the New York Excluded Workers Fund that you can get up to $15,000. $600. Now the excluders worker fund is intended to be relief for those workers that were cut off from the government unemployment, or maybe you did not receive any stimulus checks at all. So it's pretty much like if you didn't get any funding at all during this pandemic, all right? So if you got some funding, this may not be the one for you, but this does include undocumented immigrants as well who were not eligible for the unemployment benefits. Now this is a grant. It does not need to be paid back as well but you're gonna have to submit some paperwork, okay? Let's just keep that in mind. Now, here's what you need to do to apply for the Excluder Workers Fund. Of course, you have to go to the website, 
but you're qualified if you lived in New York State before March 27, 2020, and you continue to live in New York State today, okay? So you can, you know, been there and then you move. If you were not eligible or did not receive any unemployment benefits or any other type of COVID-19 income relief, and you must earn less than $26,208 before April of 2021, you must have lost some type of income between March 27, 2020 through April 1st, 2021. Because you didn't work on there, if the person is making like say that someone died in your household due to COVID or they became disabled, then you can go ahead and apply for this money. Now, some things that you do need to know is that the state is requiring workers show at least that you lost 50% of your income. So you just can't say, hey, you know, I lost some income. No, you need to show where you lost at least 50% by the week ending of February 2020. Now they have two tiers. I know this says four, but they have two tiers. One tier is gonna be where you can get the $15,600 and you're gonna have to show where you lost and submit a little bit more documentation. And then they have a second tier, which is $3,200. Now. The second tier is more for like those that did not receive a stimulus check, but tier one is gonna require more documentation because you're getting almost $13,000 more. So that's what we have going on to New York. Now we're headed to Oklahoma where we have the Osage tribe who is giving out $2,000. Now this assistance is available for members enrolled in the Osage Nation. And if you experience some type of negative income due to the pandemic or the public health emergency. So in Oklahoma, it seems like they're always doing something, but hey, you know, if you're not part of the Soji tribe, share it. But in order to be eligible for the cash assistance, the $2,000, you must be a member of the Osage Nation. You must show where it had the negative impact. You must submit and complete a signed application as well. Now the application doesn't require a notary at all. The applications opened up on August 4th and they're gonna continue until the funds are no longer available. So I think that is great as well. So it's not like a, a end date at all. Apply, apply, apply. Now, if you are in Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia is the next city and state to join the guaranteed income. You know, there's a number of cities across the United States that are providing money to poor residents or low income residents with no strings attached. Now, as of right now, Alexandria is still developing their program. What they do know is they wanna give out $500. They haven't determined how they're gonna select the families, when they're gonna release the funds at all. But as of right now, it is on the horizon. It has been approved. They have the funding and it's going to be $500. So they said more details are gonna come in the fall. So, you know, keep your eye on that and I would definitely keep it as well. Next, we are moving on to the VFW for all my battle buddies, for those who have served, they're currently serving, or they're no longer serving at all. Now, military families we know have difficult or financial difficulties as well from post-deployment or any other military-related activity or injury. Now, the VFW, which is like the Veterans of Foreign Wars, they provide up to $1,500 in assistance in the form of a grant. Let me go ahead and tell you guys, grants, once again, do not have to be paid back. But they pay this $1,500 to the creditor. It does not come to you. So if you were currently on active duty and discharged between September 11th of 2001, or you've been discharged between, or you're still serving now, then you qualify for a one-time maximum grant of $1,500. The way that it works is you're gonna submit your information, but you do have to provide your bills on there. You can provide your past due bills at all, but once you provide your bills, they're gonna pay it directly to that creditor. Some expenses do not qualify, but expenses that are eligible are like your household expenses, vehicle expenses, um, utilities, me I think like medical bills, prescription bills, and eyeglasses. So they don't accept like credit cards or anything like that at all, guys, okay? Keep that in mind. Next, we are headed to stimulus checks because states have the money right now that they receive from the CARES Act funding and they have until December 31st to distribute these funds or lose them. So it's use it or lose it. And while we're still waiting on a fourth stimulus check, some states are giving their residents stimulus money, such as California. Now we know California is the only state to have sent stimulus 
checks. And not only are they doing stimulus checks, they're going in for second, third, and fourth rounds. So for residents that are earning between thirty and seventy-five thousand dollars, are entitled up to a check of five to six hundred dollars to be paid to households with dependent children. Now look, they are taking more money and putting into this, so make sure you are aware to see if you qualify for it. In Colorado, people who have received at least one unemployment check between March 15, 2020 through October 21st of 2020, they will receive a one-time $375 check. Now in Maryland, all state and local taxes on unemployment benefits have been repealed and stimulus payments of $500 for families and $300 for individuals who filed an earned income tax credit were passed by the legislation. So they're going to get their money as well. In New Mexico, I talked about this where they have $5 million in a grant and they're going to give this money to residents who did not qualify for any federal payments. I forgot, I think it was $750 that they're doing in New Mexico. In Florida, Florida is giving most teachers and administrators a $1,000 payment. Now things are still in development, but you're supposed to be getting that or it's coming soon in Florida. Georgia is doing the exact same thing where they're giving full-time teachers and administrators administrators a $500, excuse me, $1,000 for part-time workers as well. And pre-K educators will likely have to claim those payments. Michigan, what up, Big Gretch? Michigan has sent $500 hazard pay bonuses to their teachers. And then in Tennessee, they're doing stimulus checks of $1,000 to teachers, um, hazard pay. And they're doing what is called like bonuses for part-time teachers as well, where they're going to give them $500. Now I've talked about Texas as well where in Harris County, they are giving out $1,500 payments. I wanna say applications open last week because I talked about it on there where you can go in, but also in Fort Worth and Arlington, they are looking at giving their teachers and administrators, no, in Arlington, I think they're giving a 4% raise and then in Denton, they're gonna give a bonus of $500. In Irving, Texas, they're gonna give teachers up to a $2,000 payment. So those are the stimulus monies that I can find. So what's a little bit of everything in this video? We have a little bit of settlements. We have some programs. We got some guaranteed income going on. And then we have some state stimulus checks. And um, yeah, you know, I'm still looking for this money every single day. Let me know down below if you have any programs that you know about that are providing um, some type of payment because you know that's how we learn. Sharing is caring around here. As well as go ahead and pick up my ebook if you have not let me know what do y'all think like is my team getting better like you know i can see the difference i had to pop them out guys because it was it was just doing too much okay it was doing too much but that's all i have get my ebook please like comment subscribe and yeah i will talk to you guys later bye guys have a good week. You know what? Let me know what y'all cooking for dinner tonight. You know, we ain't did that in a while. What's on the menu this week now that the children are back at school? And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.